you ever pondered the power of antibiotics and how they have transformed modern medicine? Let's journey back to 1928, when a significant turning point in healthcare transpired. Sir Alexander Fleming, a name many of us are familiar with, made a remarkable discovery. Antibiotics. This game-changing innovation revolutionized the way we fought against bacterial infections. Fast forward to the 1940s, antibiotics, particularly penicillin, played a crucial role in controlling bacterial infections among World War II soldiers. But as with every story, there was a twist. By the 1950s, the medical world faced a formidable adversary, penicillin resistance, endangering the leaps and bounds made in healthcare. As the years rolled on, resistance emerged to nearly all antibiotics that were developed. Did you know that the food you consume could be contributing to antibiotic resistance? Indeed, the antibiotics given to livestock can lead to the transfer of resistant bacteria to us, the consumers. This happens when antibiotics used in food-producing animals kill susceptible bacteria, allowing antibiotic-resistant bacteria to thrive. These resistant bacteria are then transmitted to us through the food supply, causing infections that may lead to adverse health effects. Furthermore, our agricultural practices have a significant impact on our environmental microbiome. Up to 90% of the antibiotics given to livestock are excreted in urine and stool, which then disperse widely through fertilizer, groundwater and surface runoff. But it's not just livestock. In some parts of the US, tetracyclines and streptomycin types of antibiotics are sprayed on fruit trees to act as pesticides. This practice increases the exposure of microorganisms in the environment to these growth-inhibiting agents, further contributing to the problem. So you see, our food and environmental practices play a significant role in the spread of antibiotic resistance. Can you guess how often antibiotics are incorrectly prescribed? It's a staggering statistic. From 30 to 50% of all antibiotic prescriptions are incorrect. This could mean a number of things. Perhaps the treatment indication was off, the choice of agent was ill-suited to the infection, or the duration of the therapy was too short or too long. This isn't just a problem in general practice. In our intensive care units, where the most critical cases are treated, 30 to 60% of prescribed antibiotics have been found to be unnecessary, inappropriate, or suboptimal. This misuse and mismanagement of antibiotics is not just a medical oversight, it's a significant driver of antibiotic resistance and a threat to our health. The incorrect prescription of antibiotics is a significant driver of antibiotic resistance. So, where do we go from here? It's time to realize the gravity of our actions. We must use antibiotics judiciously, reserving them for when they're truly necessary. We can't afford to be complacent. It's crucial to invest in new policies, to rekindle research in this area and manage this crisis more effectively. Everyone, from policymakers to healthcare professionals, and even us as individuals, has a role to play in this. Remember, every step towards responsible antibiotic use is a step towards a healthier future for all.